For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format the plot area of a chart. Now, the plot area is basically the background of what the chart area is. So this gray area behind the columns is the plot area. And there are a lot of things you can do to make it look different. So what you want to do first is click the chart, and then in the plot area, right click, select Format Plot Area. Now what you see here is the box that pops up. On this first uh, area, we have border and area. So in the border box, what you can do is select what you want for a border around the plot area. We can click color and then select a color for it. And in the sample box here, you'll see that there's a red outline because I selected the color red for the color. Now you can also click the submenu for style and that'll give you say a dashed line if we want and weight. Weight has to do with the thickness of the line. So we're going to make ours thicker just for effect so you can see. And there we have a thick dashed red line. Now for the area, we can change the color for the background. So that's what this box on the right does. So let's go ahead and make that white. Now click OK. And you can see that the plot area has a white background and it has red dashed line for an outline or a border. Now let's right click on the plot area, select format plot area again. Now if you want to take that off, all you have to do is on the border, you can click automatic and it will go to the default black line, or you can click none and there will be no border. For the area, you can click automatic and it will go to automatic here is white, or you can click none and you won't have a background. We're going to leave it at white for now and then it goes back to what it used to be but without a border and white background. Right click format plot area. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to use the fill effects. That's in the bottom right hand corner of this box and what this allows you to do is to add even more effects to the plot area. I'm going to explain the gradient tab first. In the gradient tab what this allows you to do is to add a color to the plot area that transitions into another color. Essentially that's what a gradient is and you can see four examples in the variance box at the bottom of this box and that's what a gradient is going to look like. We want to use a different color though so first we'll use one color, we'll select one color and then go to the color drop down and we're going to click red. Now you see that we have in the variance box red that blends into a darker shade of red and also the sample which is what we're going to end up choosing or which is what it'll end up look like, looking like. Now if you want to select the color that red's going to blend into you can click two colors and that'll allow you to select the, the second color. Currently it's white and it will look like that but let's select black and then the sample is going to look like that. Now if you want to change the sample and change what you're going to get for the final effect, in the variance area select a different style. Now also you can select a different type of a shading style. Right to the left where it says shading styles. You can get a horizontal or a vertical, a diagonal up, diagonal down, etc, etc. Once you've chosen the style you'd like, choose the variant and then click OK. And now you see for our plot area, we have a red that transitions into a darker black. Now once again, if you want to take all of that formatting off in the area box, click none or select a color you'd like, such as white. So let's go back to the fill effects and now go to the texture tab. On the texture tab, they have a bunch of these presets here and you can select any one of these and uh, it'll be the background for the plot area. So for instance white marble that could be the background for your plot area. You can also select another one from other texture. Now moving on to the pattern tab this allows you to put any one of these patterns on the background for your plot area such as a horizontal brick. But you can also change the colors for this pattern. For instance, you can change the foreground and the background. Let's say we want to do red and yellow. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, 
Let's move on to the picture tab, which is probably the most interesting thing you can do with a plot area. Here you can actually select any picture on your computer and put it as the background for the plot area. So click the picture tab, go down to select picture, and then locate the pictures on your computer that you want to put in, and then select it. Click OK. And then you have a picture as the background for your plot area. Now, it doesn't look too good right now, but depending on the data that you're graphing and also the theme, if you want to have a centralized theme to your spreadsheet, you can put a corresponding picture to make it look even better. So we're going to go back to Format Plot Area, and now I want to take the picture off. So all I'm going to do is for Area, I'm going to select the white background, and then OK, and there we have it. That's how you change the format for the plotting area.